Hey, dear saints, let's talk about the first commandment. You shall have no other gods. What does this mean? We should fear, love, and trust in God above all things. In the one true God, the real God, who promises and can deliver good things to you. So often, though, we trust in false gods. We trust in things that are made by man. We trust that, that this thing will make promises to me that will make me feel good, and I trust in that. Can this save you? Can this creation of mankind with its empty promises save you? Not at all. Only the one true God who knows you and loves you and has called you into a relationship with him through the gospel. That's the one true God. Now, in the Ten Commandments, they function in three ways. The curb, the mirror, and the guide. The curb, you know what that is. You pull up with your car, and you don't quite stop in time, and the car lurches. The curb says, this far and no farther. That's what the law of God does. This far, no farther. The mirror, you know what that is, too. You get up in the morning, you look in the mirror, and you think, oh, my, I need more sleep. And the guide the guide at the end directs us. Now, the question at hand is, can the law save you? Well, it can, if you can do this. Keep it all, all Ten Commandments, all the time, forever and ever, from the time you were conceived until the time you breathe your last. Can you do that? Nope, neither can I. You were conceived and born in sin from Adam and Eve when they fell, and already when you were conceived, you were a lawbreaker. And the law is there to say, you can't save yourself. But the law points us to the one true God, the God who loves you, has redeemed you, who has sent Jesus, our Savior, to you for the forgiveness of your sins. This is the good and gracious will of God, that you would be saved and that he would be your God. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior, Isaiah writes, and God speaks, who will be with us always. Now, where is the gospel in the first commandment? Where is the good news in the first commandment? Well, like all the commandments, it's hidden. It's here. The God of all creation, the God who said with a word and spoke and everything, who, everything came into creation, the God who created you and brought you into the world loves you, and he wants you to know him. He wants you to have a relationship with him. So he comes into your world through water and word. He connects you to Jesus for the forgiveness of sins. He gives you faith so that you can believe that these commandments are for you. This is the one true God who has said, I want a relationship with you. That's a great gift when somebody reaches into our brokenness and pulls us out and says, I love you. I'll send a savior for you. He will die on the cross for you. He will rise on the third day and you will be saved and you will be mine and I will continue to give you all of my good and gracious gifts. This is the first commandment. You shall have no other gods. You have one God who loves you and has created you and has redeemed you. Remember your baptism, dear saints. Thank you for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon for content notifications. You can follow Higher Things on social media and on our website, higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing, we ask that you remember us in your prayers and donations.